Folks, it hasn't even been 24 hours since we learned that President Trump and his wife Melania tested positive for COVID-19. And already, many radical Democrats on social media and on, on television, quite frankly, in the, in the media, are politicizing this and coming out with these vile, disgusting attacks that should be, quite frankly, condemned by everyone, regardless of uh, what side of the uh, political spectrum you fall on. Let me read a few of these comments um, that were that were made on Twitter, again, from radical leftists, many of whom have large followings, many of whom are prominent activists, comedians uh, in the news in, in one way or another. Um, many of these people, by the way, are verified on Twitter. This is, these aren't, you know, just random individuals attacking the president. A lot of these people are prominent, verified people. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the disgusting, vile, radical left. Marley Rivera of ESPN. There is a God, he says, in response to President Trump testing positive for COVID-19. He hops on Twitter and writes, there is a God. I tell you what, ESPN should fire his ass. He really should. I mean, this, this is straight up a disgusting comment. Who, who says this kind of thing? How much hate in your heart do you have to have to go on Twitter and write this after learning that the president of the United States has COVID-19? There is a God? Are you kidding me? Fire him, ESPN. A comedian uh, that I've never heard of, and quite frankly, I can't even pronounce her name. Not that I really care, and you shouldn't either. Uh, wrote, my my response to people telling me to take the higher ground. Hashtag Trump has COVID. Now, this goes along with a picture of someone giving the middle finger. You'll see it on your screen, and it'll all make sense. Uh, so, essentially, what this idiot's saying is that, look, I'm not going to take the higher ground. I'm going to laugh in, in the face of everyone who say that I should take the higher ground and have sympathy for Donald Trump. Again, pure hatred, folks. That's what it comes down to. Pure hatred. Now, this person, George Conway, is from the Washington Post, which really is uh, anything but unbiased, anything but fair and balanced. It's, it's a liberal rag, is what it is. George Conway, quote, he failed to protect the country. He couldn't even protect himself. So forget about saying, you know, my prayers are with you, Mr. President. Um, hoping for a speedy recovery. This moron from the Washington Post gets on Twitter. He failed to protect the country. He couldn't even protect himself. As if it's his fault that all this is happening. As if it's his fault that he contracted COVID-19. This guy, too, should be fired. I mean, these comments, we shouldn't just kind of brush these under the rug, folks. We shouldn't allow this to stand. The Washington Post had any dignity whatsoever, they'd fire his ass. ASAP Curry? I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this person. Um, I've never heard of them. It's it's someone on Twitter with a, a blue check mark. They're verified. They have 10.4 thousand uh, followers on Twitter. So it's some prominent figure. I, I don't know what they're from. Maybe you could tell me. ASAP Curry. Listen to this. I hope he suffers through this and dies as he's losing on election night. That's great. Again, hatred. Pure hatred. Uh, let's see here. Moving on. Linda Sarsour, a liberal activist, co-chair of the 2017 Women's March. She hopped on Twitter and wrote, seems like someone doesn't want to go. Actually, let me let me rephrase that because her grammar is atrocious. Seems like someone don't want to go back to the debate stage. Well, it doesn't, you clown. Um, but again, it's not President Trump. Uh, Trump's fault that he contracted COVID-19. By the way, this isn't on my list here, but I even saw Michael Moore. I like to call him Michael Moore food for obvious reasons. He came out there today, I believe it was today, and said that, look, it's entirely possible that President Trump is faking all of this for attention. Can you believe that? Faking all of this for attention? How, how could, why would you even say such a thing? But they don't get condemned. They don't, you know, face any backlash from their colleagues on the left. It's sick. It's absolutely sick, these people. Let's move on. We got a few more. The Gravel Institute is a new progressive media outlet. I think it just launched last month by some 
moron named Michael Gravel. Um, again, verified on Twitter. Don't get mad at people celebrating Trump's test results. Get mad at Trump for allowing 200, allowing, listen to how he talks, allowing 200,000 people to die before he got sick. So President Trump just sat back and did absolutely nothing while 200,000 people died from COVID-19. Are you kidding me? Is that the narrative? Do you expect people to take you seriously, by the way? Boy, new progressive media outlet. Yeah, we should all listen to this and really, you know, get our facts from this as a, as a credible, reliable source. The Gravel Institute. Zach Grauman. He was a campaign manager for Andrew Yang. I heard that ingesting bleach can help, he posted on Twitter. Um, you know, the famous uh, inject yourself with bleach line that the liberals keep uh, repeating over and over and over again, claiming that President Trump actually said that when he really didn't. Even vice ex-Vice President Biden said this in the debate uh, earlier this week. I mean, it's just these people are, are absurd, folks. They really are. This COVID test, listen to this one. This is from Charlotte Clymer, um, a liberal LGBTQ activist. This COVID test is the only positive thing Trump has ever done. Well, yeah, forget about, you know, keeping us safe. Forget about, uh, you know, helping inner cities, restoring the economy. All that doesn't matter. No, this positive COVID test is the only positive thing Trump has done. It's sick. It's sick, folks. These people have just so much hate. So much hate. Last one I want to read, and I saved the best, and by best I mean most disgusting and sick for last. This is from a former Obama staffer, Zara Rahim. Ready? It's been against my moral identity to tweet this for the past four years, but I hope he dies. Now, this idiot uh, posted this on Twitter and then promptly deleted it. But as you know, the second you throw something on the Internet, it's forever. And people screen grabbed it. And we know what she said. I hope he dies. You see, let me just conclude this video by saying this. This is why when people come up to me and say, we all just need to get along. We all just need to, you know, set aside our differences, Republicans and Democrats. We all just need to sing Kumbaya. I don't buy that. I don't buy that. And the reason is this, folks, right, right here. I just showed you the reason. The people on the left are sick. The, all right, I'll throw in a disclaimer. Not everyone on the left is like this, okay? I had to get that get that out there because I know there'd be some liberal idiot on this video commenting, well, not all liberals are like this, okay? Not all liberals are like this. But let me just say this. I, I believe there's a, when it comes to morality, I believe there's a fundamental difference between conservatives and liberals. And by that, I mean, you would never, never see conservatives attacking Joe Biden and his wife if, God forbid they contracted COVID-19, like the liberals have done to Donald Trump and his wife. You would never see this. You would never see conservatives hopping on Twitter saying, I hope he dies. This is what he deserves. You would never see it. But the liberals do this because I, I believe many of them are morally inferior. I really do. I, I believe that they have so much hatred in their hearts, even though they talk all the time about acceptance and tolerance that it's just not true. And so when people come up to me and say, why can't we all just get along? We need to set aside our differences. No, we can't. We can't do that. How do you get along with people like this? How do you just set aside differences and, and be rational with people who are completely irrational? You can't do it. You can't do it. Say classy libs.